Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about, um, the NASCAR, uh, Xfinity Series race that just ended at Darlington, and kind of disappointing. I expected a lot better from this Darlington race, because past Xfinity races at Darlington have been, been fun to watch, they've had good finishes, but this one was just boring, Justin Allgaier just spanked the field, and he won by like three seconds. Honestly, it was really boring to watch. And he dominated, I mean, it's good for him to finally win, because he's had some bad breaks this year, like Phoenix is a race he should have won, flat tire, takes him out. So, I mean, it's good for Allgaier, I mean, I like him, I mean, it's a good winner for me, because I like junior motorsports, but... Won't lie and say, well, can't uh, sit here and say it's a good race. It was definitely boring. I think he, he swept the stages and then won the race. I think he led most most of it. And he didn't lead every lap. Custer led like the first 20. And then the pit issue on pit road really screwed over his race. Was finally able to get in the back in the top five uh, late in the race. But I won't lie, it was boring. There was a few, it wasn't really many, like, cautions. I mean, stage one and two, you had the, competi the competition caution, and then the two stage cautions. Those were the first three cautions of the first two stages. And then stage three, we had two natural cautions. But yeah, and other than that, not really much happened. I'm kind of just disappointed. So like I say, because Darlington usually gives good racing for the Xfinity Series. And some, some races have dominant winners. But the race really sucked. And I know people will be like, oh, they can't be three wide for the, for the win every time they go to Darlington. I'm not asking for like, oh, three wide for the win every time they go to Darlington. I'm just asking for a good race for the whole race. I don't know if Darlington needs two dates. Because that was boring as hell. I mean, it's pure dominance. And pure dominance, just domination, well earned win. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from because I like all that. I'm just kind of shocked there wasn't a late race yellow. And But now Ford is now 0 for 35 in 2024. But I just can't believe there wasn't a typical Xfinity Series late caution. That, But that race is about as exciting as a Jim Utter podcast. But, like all guy, but... This just sucked. I just don't know if Darlington needs two dates. That's just my opinion, though. But we'll go over the... I guess go over the notes for the race. There really wasn't much. Really to, like, talk about. I guess another complaint I'll talk about is they wasted, like, two laps there from, like, 18 to go to 16 to go. Literally wasted two laps for nothing. Or we'll see if the track was clean. Yeah, okay there, NASCAR. I mean, it, it turned out it didn't matter. All guy would have probably won me by probably like four seconds. Then. And then, A.J. Allmendinger uh, had a good day. I mean, Allmendinger had a good day. Until uh, he had some type of issue. I don't know what happened. I guess his car shut off, had some type of maybe mechanical issue. But those were some of the really the only things that happened. In stage three, uh, Haley Deegan had a tire to blow out. I don't know what happened before that. Must have had contact with somebody for that tire to blow out that violently. So, um. Yeah, blow tire, spin out, was done for the day. Uh, I don't know what happened to Parker Ratzloff. The caution was for him. I think he might have blew up, but he come back out. I don't know what happened. Parker Cleveland was going to win that race because he had four fresh tires. He'd already drove up to six. And there's still 25 laps left. He was flying through the field. He he, he, he was going to win that race. Um, I, I would have rather seen a Cleveland win. I know I like Justin Allgaier, but I would have rather seen a Cleveland win. Get his first Xfinity win. That would have been a good story. Said we had a three second boring ass finish. And Darlington really had, they had, they've had good finishes for the Xfinity series. Just disappointing. I expected a, a lot better. That, re that was really what happened in stage three. Allgaier won the first two stages. 
the competition caution early. Custer led the first bout 20 laps and the pit crew screwed him over. Almond Dinger was having a good day. But yeah, I'll give the race a 2 out of 10. Not really much happened throughout most of the race. The only thing that's really happened was Custer having that pit road issue and trying to find his way back through the field pretty much throughout the rest of the race. And Almond Dinger had a top five car, had some type of mechanical issue or something like that that cost him a good finish. Really only two things note noteworthy besides Allgaier really dominating and sweeping the day. But Kligerman was going to win that race if that caution didn't come out. Fuck you, Parker Ratzloff. He still finished the race one lap down, so I don't know what happened. No clue. Uh, but yeah, um, those are notes from the race. Let's get the finishing results. Uh, Justin Allgaier gets the win. Austin Hill second. Fuck Austin Hill. Uh, Cole Custer third. Sam Mayer fourth. Eric Amarillo fifth. The Bacon Man. Parker Grubin, 6th, should have been your race winner. Riley Herb, 7th, Jesse Love, 8th, good finish in his first Darlington race. Uh, Sheldon Creed, 9th, and Brandon Jones runs at the top 10. William Brown, 11th, good finish, because uh, he hit the wall early. He started 38th, because there's no qualifying, because he got rained out. Hit the, uh, had a flat tire that caused him to go on the wall. Went 3 laps down, come back, finished 11th. Uh, Chandler Smith, 12th, Ryan C, 13th. Anthony Alfredo, 14th, gets an early finish. Shane Van Gisbergen, 15th, and his first Darlington race. Good result for uh, Van Gisbergen. Jeb Burton, 16th, Kyle Weatherman, 17th, Taylor Gray, 18th, Carson Qualcomm, 19th. Fan right top 20 is Brandon Poole getting another good top 20. Josh Williams, 21st. Josh Williams might be a bust at this point. He ran, like, near there the whole day. Josh Blicky, 22nd. John Hearn, Newman, check, 23rd. David Starr, 24th. Matt DeBenedetto, 25th. Chad Fincham, 26th. Blaine Perkins, 27th. Dawson Cream, 20th. Garrett Smith, 29th. Round the top 30 is Leland Honeyman, 31st. Parker Ritzloff, 32nd. Kyle Seek, 33rd. Patrick Emerley, 34th. Sammy Smith had a flat tire late. AJ Almanier, 35th. Haley Dean, 36th. Jeremy Clements, 37th. Had issues really throughout the beginning of the race. And Ryan Ellis, 38th. In last place with, I believe, a drive shaft issue. So, yeah, it's really all to say here for this race. Pretty boring. Really not an eventful race. I just wanted to do recap since I didn't do the Truck Series one. Truck Series race was way better. Kyle Bush crashed twice. But it was just a good, solid truck race last night. But didn't feel like recapping it. I, I would have rather recapped that than this shit. But, yeah, um, it's really all to say until next time out. Peace.